Hello everyone. More soap making today. Um, it's Saturday morning. Well, it's quarter to twelve. I'm supposed to be home by midday, but I'm going to be a bit late. Um, first off, I'm going to make new kaffir soap. That's the. It's like a coconut clove, nutmeg, cocoa absolute, vanilla absolute. Really nice, warm sort of a scent. It's quite a dark mixture in there. That's the vanilla. But this vanilla doesn't turn the soap brown because it's not vanillin, it's vanilla, like the real deal. So it don't go brown. Like vanillin is like a chemical substitute. Even though vanilla has vanillin in it, it doesn't make the soap go brown like a fragrant vanilla would. So it's all good. This is a three colour. I'm going to do black, white and co like a cocoa colour, yeah. Same as always. So I'm going to need another jug which is over here. I'm also making festival today because that one, I think, well there's two bars left, that's it. So yeah, time to make festival as well. I might not film that because I did one a little while back. I mean, people want to see it again, I'll do it again. I'll film it anyway and then maybe leave comments in this one while this one uploads and then I'll decide whether or not to upload the festival one. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly stick blend. <laughs> quite cold today. My oils are pretty much room temperature as is my uh, lye mixture. So I've master batched, uh, did a master batch of the oils and a master batch of the lye again. So it's just so brilliant doing that. It saves so much time I'm waiting around for things to cool down. So yeah, I really like it. <laughs> smell of uh, raw soap like like this it's so good really nice scent <laughs> well, it doesn't really have a scent well it does have it hasn't got a scent it's got some kind of smell <laughs> if you see what i mean okay we're gonna do like half a jug of that and half a jug of that but i think the main color is usually like the brown I haven't made this for quite some time. I've only got a couple of bars left of this as well. So what I'll do first, I'm just going to move them over here because my mould is there. And I just want to put the cocoa in first. I'm on old uh, Round Trees cocoa now. I don't know if I get through this stuff, but I chose this one because it's kind of nice and old fashioned. I did a school project once, you have to pick a brand or a company, a UK company, and I picked Round Trees to do a school project of years ago. <laughs> and they wrote to me and sent me all their blurb for their, you know, where they began and about us and all that sort of stuff. God, that was back in the 80s. Funny. But I chose them. I don't know why. Weird. Okay, let's just stick blend this up. <laughs>
I've got um, some new micas as well. So I've got a nice colour to go on the top of this. I usually do use like a copper colour, but I've got like this red, one of the red ones. What's this? Vibrance. Red Vibrance mica. These are from uh, Nurture. Nurture soap supplies. See me pour it in. Let's get you focused if we can. I didn't seem to want to focus this camera. Sometimes it, it's fine, and then other times. Uh, oh, whatever. Lemon thing. Okay, so I'm going to pour in the brown, and then these other two are going to be my swirl. slight water discount on these but not very much. I think I'm using 30% lye concentration when I tap it into a soap calc to figure out what I'm using. It's 30% concentration. They sometimes can move so that's why I've done this because there's clove oil in it. It's just enough to give it like a spicy edge but it can you like coarse soap to accelerate quickly, so I up the water a bit. And now it's really not a hassle to make at all, so very nice. And then we'll do, I think, a white first to get that in there. Try and trace over the lines I've already made so it makes it kind of like a drop swirl. Kind of. <laughs> I'm gonna chopstick it as well. Yeah, this does usually really thicken up on me, so this is much better consistency. Nice to make now. Okay, now I'm going to pour on the rest. And what we got left. love the smell of this. It's still a really good seller, this fragrance. So it stood the test of time. It's just a really nice blend and it's nice to have that coconut in there because it's not just all essential oil. This one has coconut fragrance and then the nice essential oils and that cocoa absolute just gives it, oh god, so I love it. <laughs>
more black so we get some nice swirls on the top and then I'm going to peek it again into those logs I've been doing recently because I like the way they turn out. sort of do and just give it a quick swirl just to merge them a little bit before it's nice like that actually but I'm not going to leave it like that I'm going to change it up a little more focus now I think. Got soap on my other side of my mould. There we go. Okay. Let's bring it up and over. It kind of ruins, <laughs> in a way it kind of ruins the design that you're getting but it's sort of all about the inside really. Because I love the tops when they look like that but then you know the soap does get cut up so you lose a lot of that anyway. It's more about the swirls inside than anything. And I just quite like doing this. It just makes it look really... I just really like it. Makes it look yummy, like a pudding. A lot of people say that my soaps always look like puddings, but it's not intentional to make them look like that. It just, um, sometimes I do. You know, I'm not really into, like, all that soaps that make, they're, like, you know, fancy, made to look like cakes and things like that. I'm not, I like it. I think it's really, really clever, but it's not what I do. But sometimes people say, your stuff always looks like food, and... I don't know, I don't think it does. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to um, sprinkle on some of this mica. Um, I'll just use my fingers and I just get like a light dust in the sparkly loveliness on the top which sort of comes off with the first use of the soap you probably can't really see this it's not coming out too bright but I'll bring you in in a minute, you can have a look. It's like putting makeup all over your fingers. <laughs> I haven't got like a little sifter that I could use really for this. Because I want just such a minuscule amount. A little more down the sides. And we're done. Okay, so as you can see, you get sort of like, ew! I've got my cloth. Okay, so that's new kaffir soap made. And relax! <laughs> so I'm going to start on festival in a second, so I'll film that one as well. So, there. Let me just pull you up. There's new kaffir. in the mould. Light's a bit funny in here today, sorry. It's just I've had to put the blind down because there's such glare from the sun. Okay, I'll be back for festival and then the cut of both of these. Okay, bye!